Hey guys, it's Dina here and I have found a product here that I wanted to share with you. This is a new, um, Revlon has come out with a new lash potion by Grow Luscious. This is a new mascara. Um, it says that it's great for volume and length, uh, spell binding volume and length it says on it. I've got mine in black is black. And it says that the formula with strengthening proteins, amino acids, and essential vitamins revitalizes lashes. The Illusionist Wand drenches lashes for dramatic volume and combs through lashes for clump-free length. Um, it's supposed to have a special kind of wand, which is called the Illusionist Wand. Um, the packaging is very cute. We'll start off with that. Um, it's got some gorgeous packaging. It's um, Kind of got bright fuchsia, pink, purple, green, black. Just kind of looks like a, um, almost like a magic trick type of thing there. So it says Lash Potion. Um, I'm going to turn this around the other way as I'm a lefty. So you can see the brush here. The brush is quite large. And um, one part of the brush is, and I don't know how well it's going to show it, but... Um, Part of the brush is really short, and then the other part of the brush, it's really long. And I've noticed that um, when I use the shorter brush, the little, like the shorter bristles, it's kind of hard to apply it without it clumping. Um, you know, a little clumping's not horrible, but this can get to where I get like the three eyelash look. So then I'll have to go through it with the longer side, and it's it's not showing up because it, it I guess it's just because this brush is just so black and shiny. But um, the formula is kind of wet, um, not horribly wet, but it's definitely not on the dry side by any means. Um, I like it. Um, I've used it for I would say about almost a week and a half now maybe two weeks. Um, I paid $7.99 for it at CVS. And um, I don't know. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it's not the worst mascara. If I was going on a vacation, would I take it with me over all the other mascaras that I have? No. Um, now, just for reference, my favorite mascaras would be... Um, top of the list would be Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. Um, second would be the Mali, um, what is it called here? Mali Volumizing Mascara that you can purchase off of QVC. That stuff is completely amazing. And the last one would be my CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I have excellent results with that. I know it takes a little bit to build it up, but it does build up and it does not clump at all for me. So there, those, those would be my top three. Um, this one would go right along you know, after those. It's not a bad mascara. I don't want you to think that in any way. I think it would work great for a lot of people. Um, I use a eyelash enhancing serum called Lilash. So if you haven't seen my video on that, check it out um, in my other videos. But it is a great um, formula. I don't know what this is. I had some people mention some things to me that they um, thought might be ingredients in it, which I'm going to try. Um, cold pressed, um, what was it? It was an oil, and a castor oil, I think it was. Um, but this is the Lilash. This is the Lash and, um, Enhancing Serum that I use, and I've been using this for almost a year now, and my lashes are double the length, double the volume, and they are black, because my eyelashes are naturally really, really, really light brown, and they're blonde on the tips, like you can't even see them hardly. Um, they're very, very light. So I do love that lash serum. So I'm just going to flip the camera around really quickly and show you how the um, mascara applies. It's not clumpy. It gives pretty decent um, volume and it gives pretty decent length. Um, I would say it gives more length than volume. So I'm just going to flip the camera around really quickly or my phone because I use my iPhone. So um, hopefully this will work out Okay, so bear with me because I don't do editing. Okay, so here is my eye. I'm hoping you can see. And there is what the mascara looks like, if you can see that. So I'll kind of like look down to where you can see. And then I'll look straight on at you. So, I mean, it has, um, 
I think pretty good um, volume. Um, I did not curl my lashes. They kind of just, you know, stayed this way. But um, I really like it, I have to say. So I'll flip this back around here. And yeah, I mean, that's really all I have to say about it. I think it's pretty decent mascara. Um, it's not in my top, you know, top four. But, you know, other than that, I don't think it's bad at all. And I, and I don't really want to say anything bad about it. I think that it... It works quite well. It's just not as volumizing as my, you know, Tarte or my Mally or the um, Clump Crusher from CoverGirl. That one's really, really good. So, yeah, I mean, everybody has a different opinion. Um, things work differently for my lashes that will work differently on yours. I mean, I understand that. So that's why I'm just sharing it with you. I, um, I like it. Would I repurchase it? Yes. Um, the packaging's cute. The formula's good. It doesn't flake. It doesn't smear on my lower lash line, um, which is a big thing that I cannot stand. Um, so it holds a curl because I did curl my lashes earlier in the week. It did, you know, holds a good curl, which mine curl anyway because of the lilac lash. I don't know why, but it does make my lashes curl up on their own. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't really, I can't think of anything else to really say about it. So I guess that's it for this one. So um, please leave any comments down below if you have any questions or comments. If you've tried this, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, please subscribe if you're new. And um, I will see you in my next video. So thank you for watching. Bye, guys.